Welcome back, Print Fam. This is the shop tour that's not mine. So today we got Joshua, his little screen print setup where he runs a brand as well as does some decorating for other companies. So recently quit his two jobs. Thanks Joshua for giving us this shop tour. If you guys want to do a shop tour, email me ttmakesomething at gmail.com and we'll schedule one of these. I'd love to see more of them. These aren't going to be super fancy videos, but do you want to maybe introduce yourself, tell tell the people who you are and what you do, and then let's maybe walk around and see what you got, and yeah. I'll ask questions. <laughs> yeah, sure. No problem. It's already all recording. We're all good there. Yep. Perfect. Yeah, so uh, my name is Joshua Stover. Uh, I'm a small-time screen printer. Um, I do some screen printing and vinyl, vinyl work for uh, people locally as well as for a, a brand that I run. Um, I also do a little bit of online coaching and teaching people marketing and uh, ads and things like that for uh, their t-shirt brands. Um, but yeah, so here we are. This is my shop. Uh, let me flip my camera around for you guys here if I can do that. Um, over here, we have kind of my workstation on the right. I've got my PC set up. On the left, I've got a Mac, a Mac mini set up with lighting and cameras for doing online conversations and streaming, stuff like that. Um, being a screen printer, um, I have to have my own transparency printer, so I've got a printer here, a backup printer there, a hat press, and a regular flat heat press uh, all here on this table. Uh, right here in the middle, basically of my shop, uh, this is going to be my main screen printing press. It's nothing big. It's a six-color two-station press, uh, Riley Hopkins Jr. Um, I do all of my multicolor work on this press here. Um, to back up the press, I've got a uh, conveyor dryer it sits right here so as i'm printing or printing right here all the shirts come off the press straight onto a conveyor dryer and up in a box over here on the back um right here we have a secondary press that i've got it's kind of a cheaper it's an older uh, silver press from ryanet picked up for 100 bucks there on uh, facebook marketplace but anyway i use this for my single color stuff it doesn't require flashing in between prints uh, Use that for, like I said, basic, basically it's uh, all my all black prints is what I'm using that for. And then right here, for, I do uh, screen printed stickers. So I've made a small little cheap setup there for doing printer, uh, screen printed stickers there. Over here, i got a table set up for folding. Once everything gets folded on my little flip fold, everything comes over here. This is kind of where I keep all of my designs um, that I'm currently offering. I've got a lot of my inventory here, as well as everything, all the colors I offer for t-shirts on my shelf here. Um, I'll take you guys over here and show you with well, screen printing. i got to keep all my screens in a dark area, so I've built a little cabinet, and I've installed a heating element and some fans in. allows me to keep all of my screens dark um, in a dark space without having to have a dedicated dark room, as well as a washout booth here. Takes care of all of that, and then over here I've got a little gaming station for taking breaks and uh nothing fancy but uh, all my inks and then some of my vinyl stuff over here um other couple pieces of equipment that i have i've got a 24 inch vinyl cutter that i originally started my business off with uh very basic titan brand their base model did that for a while then i've upgraded to a suma tangential head it's the uh s2 140 series um very good vinyl cutter i use that for cutting out all my stickers um, doing perf cuts and things like that. For the most part, that's my setup, man. It's, uh, it's my basement, basically converted into a shop. Um, I actually just turned in my two weeks yesterday for my full-time job, so I will be doing this full-time uh, in about a week and a half. So hopefully things keep... <laughs> Thank you. I appreciate that. It's uh, extremely exciting, but scary at the same time, you know. I do have a wife and a kid and a dog and a house to take care of, so... <laughs> So the one thing that I didn't see was an exposure unit. I know that's a common tool for screen printing. Yep. So right here, actually, it's on top of the cat that I made here. Uh, basic exposure unit from Rynet. Yep, just a, a 20 by 24 unit right there. Um, we'll be upgrading here eventually now that things are rocking and rolling. But uh, yeah, I just kind of have it all set up. I've got a table here for lining up transparencies. Um, I pretty much just use a ruler to measure it out manually now. Um, but there's that upstairs in my garage. I do have an embroidery machine. I could not get it down the stairs, so it's going to live upstairs. So, <laughs> no, I get it. Totally get it. Um, but yeah, that's the, that's the tour. A common question people are going to ask is how big is it? 
Like how many square feet? Uh, in my space that I work in down here is about 1,200 square feet. And I am packed in tight. I've uh, pretty much maximized as much as I can do. Uh, the next step will be going to a bigger shop, but that's going to require more time into the business to grow it to get to that next step. But we are on the way. So. Well, awesome. Um, so you run your own brand as well as do screen printing for other people, correct? Yeah. Yep. So like what, what percentage of the business is what, like 50, 50 more brand less. Like... Yeah. So right now it's definitely more brand. Um, I started out, um, real quick version. I started out with just the vinyl cutter, you know, doing some like realtor signs around town, did that. Um, that kind of turned into doing some heat press t-shirts with um, heat transfer vinyl. Um, and then uh, I got the screen printing equipment because I got tired of weeding. So I, you know, sold a bunch of my metalworking equipment. I'm also a mechanic. Uh, so I sold a bunch of my tools and stuff, paid for the screen printing equipment, moved into that. Um, and I, I think I always had the goal of doing my own brand, but I was still doing a lot for other customers and things like that. And if anybody works with customers, sometimes it can be a headache working with different designs and different things that they want, you know, different expectations trying to meet. And uh, I just kind of decided that it was kind of, it was more of a headache than I was willing to deal with at the time, being li limited on, on my time to being a full-time employee and, you know, and have a family and stuff. So uh, right now I'm probably, I would say 90% into my brand and 10% for other people. Um, that my time limitations will open. Oh, go ahead. Well, with going full-time, are you hoping to like put more to the brand and then build up the clientele side? Or are you kind of trying to do just the brand and, like start tapering off the the other 10 percent um we'll kind of have to see how it goes i'm definitely open to doing client work um because there's always profit to be made there and like it's guaranteed as long as you don't screw up the garments you know but um i a lot of my focus is going to go into the brand right now working on marketing and stuff like that and worst case scenario if that doesn't work i've got more experience in marketing and i can always turn that into doing more client work but i think my main focus will be uh, more brand oriented at, for the time being. Well, awesome. But I think this was fun. Like okay. any other questions that you think people would want to know or any questions you have for me or. I guess the only thing I could say, this is probably more of a coaching kind of thing is like, you know, if you guys are getting into this stuff, like keep pushing forward. There's a big learning curve into everything that you get into. Uh, whether it's like with you, you're doing a lot of printing stuff. Um, you know, for me, it's a screen printer. I got that embroidery machine um, about two months ago, and I've never used one before. I just went ahead and bought it, you know, brand new, so that was a big investment. And while it is scary sometimes, like, you know, you just got to keep pushing forward, keep learning things, keep testing things out. And uh, as long as you don't let up, like, you'll never fail on this stuff because there's a whole market in the whole world out there and plenty of people who want stuff. So that's about all I got for you there. <laughs> Completely agree. Well, thanks so much time for your time today josh and yeah absolutely i appreciate you having me and uh, i'm in the group with you guys there or um you can reach me on social media too if you guys want to reach out mini bike apparel is my brand that's what i run everything on but uh, if you guys have any questions you know feel free to reach out I'm happy to answer questions so do you want to shout out any of your your pages or anything people could follow you or go find your merch buy it Etc. Yeah, um, my main brand right now, um, that's probably where all my traffic's going, is uh, minibikeapparel.com. Uh, I'm into mini bikes. That's where I got my uh, start in becoming a professional mechanic was mini bikes when I was a kid and go-karts. So minibikeapparel.com is my website. Uh, Instagram and Facebook and YouTube is all mini bike apparel. Uh, you can find me there. And, uh, yeah, that's pretty much the main spots where you can hit me up. So, Thanks again, Joshua, for showing us your setup. I really like seeing other people's shops. It helps me know, like, sometimes how to organize things or what other people are doing. I love machines and equipment, so it helps know, okay, I wasn't the only one that, I didn't have the Titan, but I had the the lower model 28-inch cutter. That was my first cutter. So, like, it's nice to know that a lot of people start in the same place or have some of the same things. And I love the shirt organizer. I need some stuff for that rather than having all my random shirts in boxes. So... We'll link everything we can down in the description. Again, if you guys want to be on the shop tour, uh, send me an email, ttmakesomething at gmail.com. As always, Print Fam, thanks for being here, and we'll see you in the next one. It didn't stop. <laughs>